Hi, this is Dr. Michael DiMattina, Medical Director of Dominion Fertility in Arlington, Virginia. Some more good news in the field of IVF. IVF has been around in the um, uh, medical community since 1978 from the birth of Louise Brown in England. In the United States, the first birth occurred in 1982. I have personally been performing IVF since 1984, and Dominion Fertility produces hundreds and hundreds of babies every year through the use of IVF. When IVF first started, everyone's concern was, are these babies going to be healthy? Are their motor, language, and cognitive development going to be similar to those children who were born through natural methods without the use of IVF or any other assisted technology? Well, the answer is yes. And in fact, just this month in the Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology, a new article that compared children that were born through IVF and other reproductive technologies to those children who were born naturally at two years of age show that their motor skills, cognitive development, and language skills in those babies who were conceived through the use of uh, infertility treatments such as IVF, IUI, or other treatments, those babies were the same in development as those children who were born naturally and spontaneously. So this is really good news. Um, this supports the findings of many, many other studies throughout the world that these babies are not second-class citizens. They're just as healthy as those that are conceived naturally and normally. So this is a reassuring uh, finding, and uh, I wanted to share that with all of our people uh, who come to see us at Dominion Fertility uh, and those who don't. Uh, you can be assured that these technologies uh, result in happy, healthy kids. Dr. Michael DiMattina, Dominion Fertility, Arlington, Virginia.